Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, salivary gland biopsy. And but before starting this topic, I would like to request you uh, to like, subscribe, and uh, share these videos. You know, to support this channel. And uh, if you need any more information about uh, any disease or any medical condition, uh, then you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. You know. Uh, so to visit that website you can click the link in the description area just below this video you know so uh, it will lead you to the website now I come to the point uh, what is salivary gland biopsy you know the salivary glands are located uh, beneath your tongue and uh, over uh, the jawbone near the ear you know and uh, uh, their purpose is, uh, purpose is to their function is to secrete uh, saliva into your mouth to begin the digestive process you know uh, while uh, uh, making it easier to swallow the food and mix uh, the saliva with the food to make it a bit more uh, uh, comfortably swallowed you know and uh, also protecting your teeth from decay you know now the main uh, salivary glands uh, which are known as uh, uh, parotid glands uh, they are located uh, over your main tune muscle which is known as uh, 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 a mastro muscle you know and uh, beneath your tongue which is known as sublingual gland you know and uh, on the floor of the mouth which is submandibular gland so these are the three uh, uh, main uh, glands you know and uh, a salivary gland biopsy involves the removal of the cells or the small piece of tissue from those glands to see under the microscope uh, for uh, to see if there is any kind of abnormality there, you know. Now, if a mass is discovered in the salivary gland, then your doctor may decide that biopsy is necessary in order to determine whether uh, you have uh, like disease requiring a treatment, you know. And your doctor may recommend the biopsy uh, to examine abnormal lumps or the swelling uh, in the salivary glands and that may be caused by an uh, obstruction or maybe caused by any tumor you know and uh, the second purpose is to determine uh, if the tumor is present there you know and uh, if a duct uh, in the salivary gland has become blocked or if uh, a malignant tumor is present and needs to be removed and uh, maybe further treatment you know if it's malignant or cancerous you know and uh, to diagnose the disease like uh, 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 Jogren syndrome or the chronic autoimmune disorders, you know, in which the body attacks healthy tissues, you know. So these are the purposes. Uh, uh, that's why the doctors order for the uh, salivary gland biopsies, you know. Uh, there are no uh, special precautions which are required uh, before the salivary gland biopsy, you know. And your doctor may ask you uh, to refrain from eating or drinking anything for few hours before the procedure and you may also be asked to stop uh, taking like blood thinning medication like aspirin or any other medication you know uh, for a few days before the biopsy and if you are taking any you know, over the counter medication or any prescription medication you should tell your doctor who is going to um, do the biopsy uh, in advance you know so he may, may switch the medicine to any other safer or uh, better medication for that time or uh, uh, but do not stop the medication before uh, uh, without advice of the doctor you know and uh, uh, the test is usually administered in a doctor's office you know so you don't need to be in the theater you know and it will take uh, from uh, you know it will take the form of a kind of a, a needle aspiration biopsy you know so this enables the doctor to remove a small number of cells from that particular area uh, and then it will be sent to the uh, lab to see under the microscope if there is any kind of abnormality or lump and if it is lump there then is it benign or is cancerous you know is it's benign or malignant you know cancerous or not cancerous you know and it helps to if there is any kind of uh, malignancy there so it will uh, help uh, the doctor to diagnose it and uh, to uh, plan a better treatment option you know and thank you very much for watching this video uh, the next thing is uh, uh, how to want how uh, the interpretation of the biopsy results you know well the conditions uh, that can cause the swelling of the salivary glands that may include uh, 
uh, salivary gland infections or uh, uh, some form, kind of cancers, uh, salivary ducts, uh, uh, stones, you know, and uh, sarcoidosis, you know. And your doctor will be able to determine which condition is causing this swelling uh, by the results of the biopsy and as well as the presence of any other symptoms, you know. So uh, they may also perform the x-rays or the CT scan uh, which will detect any obstruction or tumor in the, uh, or the growth, you know. And uh, you know the salivary gland tumors uh, are rare, you know, and uh, the most common form is like uh, they're slow growing, you know. Uh, they are non-cancerous or benign, you know, uh, that causes the size of the gland to increase. And uh, some tumors uh, may be cancerous, uh, which means they are malignant, you know, and in that case, uh, the tumor is uh, usually uh, known as the carcinoma, you know. And uh, uh, to treat this, uh, it depends on the stage, you know, and then uh, your doctor will uh, uh, decide the treatment option, you know, depend, uh, based on the stage of the cancer, you know whether it's localized or it has metastasized to the uh, other parts of the body or it has spread to the parts of the body, you know. And uh, the treatment options may include in that case maybe uh, remove surgical removal or maybe radiation therapy and cancer therapy, sorry, uh, chemotherapy or maybe combination of one or two, op uh, two or more options, you know. But again, depends on the uh, severity of the disease. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, and uh, you can visit our website which is www.disease and Thank you. Goodbye.